Hi guys, welcome back. Um, gonna work on a set of coasters that when I posted pictures of them, I had a couple people asking me to show them how I did it. Um, this is the look we're gonna go for. Um, it's a dirty pour, which I'm gonna show you guys how I do that, basically layering all of the colors into a single cup. So, Mike, this one's for you. Sorry, I'm not gonna use the exact colors. They're gonna be a little different. Uh, we're gonna use Let's Resin Turquoise, Let's Resin Purple, and Pinata Sunbright Yellow. So we're gonna see. I mixed up a total of six ounces of resin and divided it out. I have the 30 grams of the white that I'll use for piping. I use the three drops of the casting craft in there and four drops of the pinata white alcohol ink. I haven't ventured from that recipe yet. I'm going to, I'm gonna get brave and maybe try using a sinker white and see what happens. I don't know, that'll be it for another video. All right, so let's start mixing this up here. Let's see, one, two, um, let's do three drops and see what color that gives us. If we get enough color going in that. I'm still gonna, to the best that I can, follow the <clears throat> don't pour till the 96.3 and pipe when that white reaches 101.3. So we'll wait. All right, so I kinda, I think that's good. I like the color of that one. So we have the green. Then we'll mix up some purple. Maybe, if I can get the lid off. Okay, let's go one, two, three drops. See what happens. Hold on to my cup tightly so I don't drop it. Because I have a tendency to be pretty klutzy. I spill things, ruin clothes, you name it. I've done it. Speaking of which, I always watch where your sleeves are. I destroyed my sweatshirt. <laughs> I drug it through resin. All right, let's do the yellow. Let's see. One, two, three. Mm, let's do four drops, because it's, oh, I guess we're doing six drops. We'll see see how that one comes out. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So we have turquoise, purple, yellow, clear, really big cup. We're just going to start pouring all of these in in layers. So let me get the thermometer out of this guy. We're at well over the 96, so hopefully we're not far behind and messing it up. All right, so let's pour some of the green. I'll try to pour maybe about half. Eh, yeah, it looks about half. Okay, and now we'll put in some of the white, or the clear, rather. All right, now we'll do purple. And more clear. And yellow. Ooh, it's getting warm. I gotta move. Yellow. Clear. The rest of the green, the turquoise. way a little more clear hopefully I have enough clear all right and purple a 
little more clear. Eh, gotta hurry. Okay. Yellow. Okay. Oh boy, I'm getting a sticky mess here. All right, let's scrape out the last little bit of clear we have. Go, go, go. All right, so wipe the hands, we're super sticky. All right, we're all in the cups, and now I'm just gonna pour them into the molds. And however it comes out is however it's gonna come out. All right. Oh boy, don't overfill. Put you in. I'll come over here. So see the colors just kind of they blend and pour out kind of however they want this guy's got a lot more clear so we'll try to come back over and hit him with what's left in the bottom of this cup and give him hopefully some more color oh there we go we're getting more Let's scrape this scrape it out in there Go, go, go. All right. Just real gentle, I'll try to move it in the, in the mold because I don't want to disturb the colors however they came out. All right. Move that cup over. Wipe the hands. Grab the heat gun. Turned on my heat gun and flung something in this one. Oh, come out of there. Come out, come out. Okay, good, got it. All right, we better check on our white. Okay, getting there. Feels like it should be about there. Let's take its temperature real quick. Oh, my little timer says I got about two and a half minutes. So I try to work on both temperature and time as kind of my guideline um i find that temperature definitely matters more than time um oh, i am dropping stuff in everywhere look something in that one all right get out of there all right major bubble you get out too out 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 Come on, play nice. All right. Colors look pretty cool in there. All right. We're doing good. Temp's getting there. I might have to cheat and warm the cup up a little bit here because this guy was getting pretty thick. All right, we're going to cheat just a little bit. So this is how I cheat. I'm not saying it'll work for you guys, but this is what I do. I'll literally just kind of use my heat gun a little bit. Just warm what's in that cup up a little bit more. All right. A little bit of a stir. Take its temp. All right. We're going. Timer's going to go off, so I'm going to stop it. So I use my iPad as a timer. And because I am always such a mess, I went to the dollar store and got this little stylus. You can get two for a buck. So then that way I don't care if this gets funky, but I can stop it with my hand. Stop timer. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Here we go. All right. Temp is getting there. Yay. These guys look pretty good. Maybe a little bubble action going. All right. Temp is good. So the little trick worked. Again, it was like the smallest amount of heat because you don't want to overdo it. All right, let's get our white into our bag. Fingers crossed that this will work and I can replicate what I did. And it's not a one hit wonder. 
I swear sometimes I should name these Science Experiment 2 or 5. And <laughs> will it work or will she mess it up? All right. Wipe hands. All right, real quick. Only because there's bubbles. Go away. Ooh, not on high. Go away, go away. Go away, go away. Please go away. Okay. All right. Let's get the piping before we hit a snafu and destroy everything. All right. Squish it down. Give it a good twist. Trim napkin. All right. Trim off the tippy top. Oh, there's a big old air bubble in there, which means it's gonna come flying out at me. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, we might be in luck. Looks like it's piping well enough. Here we go. Hey, I'm getting better at my spirals. Watch, I say that and now I'll jack one of them up. <laughs> here we go, here we go. And yes, I know, I always pipe in spirals. But I've tried the other methods and I don't know, my hand's not steady enough or I just have no clue <clears throat> how to properly do it to pipe in more loops that would look like petals. So I don't know, I guess I just stick with what I know, what kind of works. Ooh, here we go. All right, come on, oops, slow down. See, I started pulling too fast and my line was getting thin. I'm getting anxious. I'm a little nervous. Oh, come out, come out, come out. Just a little bit left in there. Go. Okay. Got that part done. Let's clean this mess out of the way. All right. We're going to start pulling our resin. So, lately I've been avoiding going all the way to the middle. So, we'll pull just short of the middle. A light touch. Try not to go to the bottom of the mold. So we'll go in. We'll pull in. Stay away from that absolute outer ring. Try to hit that blob. All right. Okay. Swirl that center really hard. Again, trying to stay out of the innermost ring. Yes, I'm not gonna wipe in between since we're doing this kind of a dirty pour effect. It's okay if colors keep swirling together. All right, and go in. And, ooh, it's getting thick. Hmm, hopefully I didn't dilly-dally too much. Swirl that center. All right. In. In. Pull it out. Pull it out. 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 Give that center a big swirl. All right. Okay, we'll heat them up. See if we can get them to bloom. Move stuff out of the way before I knock it over. All right, pull them apart. Okay, see what we can do. Again, I push from the outside in, trying not to do it too much. I don't see that middle starting to move, so I better quit on him. If you overheat it too much, you'll move your middle, which I've done. And then it looked like a blurred mess. Okay. All right, next guy. Round and round. 
push him in. Okay, move him out of the way. Last one, round and round. Push. Okay, bring them. Ooh, we're blooming good. Okay. All right. Lay flat. All right, I'm gonna heat them all up one more time. I just move it around in general, try not to hit any one more than another. And see what happens. We'll see. This guy's outside's blooming really nice. The inside, maybe. But we'll give it a little bit and see how they bloom. And then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. And we'll see how it goes. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, we're back. So the blooms, they're closing. I'm trying not to get my overhead light, but they're closing so pretty. And you can see the all the colors in there. This one and this one don't look to have as much yellow. Ooh, focus. But that's okay. But we're getting the colors. I add the clear in between the layers um, only because I'm afraid that the alcohol inks will mix too much without them. Usually when I do a dirty pour using mica powders, like if I was doing a really big uh, American flag, I don't add clear. But I do with alcohol inks. Just, I don't know, give it that buffer. So. We'll let these guys set. I'll come back in about four to five hours. We'll backfill them and do mold in the morning. Good morning. All right, here we go for the reveal. Backs look super cool. I did fill them in um, with a little bit of the black alcohol ink. I mean, as you can see, very little. I just wanted a little more intensity, hopefully on the back, make those colors in the front pop. So without further ado, we'll get to it. Oh, I don't drop it. Super pretty. So when we poured, you could tell not much of the yellow went into this one, but that's okay. Maybe just a tiny little bit. That's all right. That's what happens when you just let it come out like it wants in the different layers. All right, moving along. Oh, that's so pretty. Now this one just has a lot of the turquoise. Very little bit of hint of the purple. Yeah, just a little bit of hint of that purple. But it's kind of cool because you can still, still tell they're all meant to be a set so far. Just a little different in each one. All right, so this one looks like it has a lot more of the yellow. That one definitely, but we'll get there. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Definitely see the purple on the edges and then the turquoise and then the turquoise is a little more intense over here. Some of the yellow in there. So very cool. Maybe next time I'll make the yellow even darker to see if that helps. Keep more of the yellow in there. So this one you can see we got looks like lots of yellow, 
some of the purple, so we'll see what happens. The back is super pretty. Come out. Okay, last one. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so yeah, again, just the way we poured it, the way it come out of the cup, that's the way it went. You can see we definitely have a lot more yellow, the purple, a little more intense over here in the turquoise. But overall, I think they're really super pretty. Very light, springy, that's what we'll call them. Spring flowers. So there you go. The results of just layering your resin in a cup, also known as a dirty pour, you get cool gradient tie-dye effect on it. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.